A month back, we saw the launch of OpenAI's new method of creating your own custom GPT at the Dev Day convention. Now, the keynotes mentioned how it allows users to create custom GPTs with their own instructions, expanded knowledge base, as well as with its own actions. Now, the thing is, many people love this idea of creating and as well as using custom GPTs with its new marketplace. But the thing is that people were actually restricted from using this because it's a part of OpenAI's paid subscriptions. Many people didn't see the need of paying a little bit more for accessing something like this. This is where I would introduce something like Open Custom GPT, and this is something that we're going to take a look at throughout today's video. It's a project that was recently released by a small dev team, and it's practically a no-code platform for building custom GPTs using Assistant API. Now, why is this any good? Well, it's something that is firstly open source, which allows many people to actually use it and allows you to actually create custom GPTs that are built with more flexibility through their own files, databases, as well as your own instructions. This is a great way to basically fulfill any sort of user query. Just take a look at this example where this demo shows how it's simply easily able to create some sort of custom GPT. Now, in this case, the devs were able to basically give this assistant a name. They named it App Assistant and entered the instructions to basically answer questions from the PDF file that they uploaded. You first have to select the type of assistant. There's three types at the current moment, a code interpreter, a retrieval system, as well as a functioning system. Functioning system acts as a type of execution agent, which helps you execute various different types of things. In this case, they set it up as a retrieval agent, which basically takes in information from the files that you upload. It could be various different types of file types, notes, CSV, and such forward. In this case, you provide it that file type and it will retrieve and answer questions based off of that. Now, if we go down into the video, we can see that you can ask it questions and it will give you the answer. Now, my video is kind of frozen, but I'll be right back. There we go. And we can see from this user input, we are able to get this output by giving it a demonstration as to what this actually is. And this was something that was off, uh, it's something that's in the PDF and it gives you a description of it. It finds the source and it actually gives you where they actually found it. And that's basically the gist of what this custom open GBT framework actually is. It's something that is very beneficial and it will be very useful to use and create some sort of custom GPT based off your own knowledge base, your own instructions, as well as giving it different types of needs so that you can, uh, that it can fulfill and so that you can implement it into your own website, for example. But this is something that you can access on the cloud and it's something that I'll showcase throughout today's video. So with that thought guys, stay tuned and let's get straight to it. If you would like to access our private Discord where you can access subscriptions to AI tools for free, get networking opportunities, collaboration, daily AI news, you have various different AI topics being discussed on the Discord, as well as a lot of support, definitely take a look at the Patreon link in the description below. If you would like to book a one-on-one -on -one with me where you can access my consulting services, where I can help you grow your business or basically give you a lot of different types of solutions with AI, definitely take a look at the calendar link in the description below. Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back to another YouTube video at the world of AI. In today's video, we're going to take a look at Open Custom GPT. This is a no code platform for building custom GPTs based off your own knowledge base, based off your instructions and have it deployed on various different workflows, whether that's your website, by copying the source code of this GPT that is generated. But throughout today's video, we're going to showcase how you can actually take a look. But firstly, we're going to take a look at some of these amazing features. The platform basically prioritizes speed and efficiency in the GPT building process. It basically works through uh, making sure that there is a rapid deployment process that is basically able to create any sort of custom GPT within a couple minutes. It's able to secure your data. It has some sort of emphasis on data security as well as user control. So that's something great to hear about. It's open source, which means that it's free to use and have it so that you can extend it further. You can share and embed your GPTs with other people. This is something that is really, really easy to basically share with whoever you're trying to generate certain GPTs with. You're also allowed to have monetization with the GPTs that you create. It enables you to basically have it pass paywalls and earn money with the GPTs that you create. 
Now, another thing is that you're able to have it so that you can convert your existing custom GPT to have it host on your site. This is where I mentioned that you can have it implemented in various different workflows. You just simply have to copy the instructions from the configure tab, which is something that I'll showcase later on in the video. You paste it into your own custom GPT instruction section. You're then able to enable code interpreter dolly -E, or a file retrieval similar to your custom GPT method. Now, this is something that lets you set it up and convert your existing GPT so that you can have it hosted in various steps or various workflows. Sorry, this is something that I'll showcase as we go later on in the video. Now, there's two ways to access this. You can simply just install this project locally or you can access it through their cloud hosting. You simply just need to log in with a Google account and you can start accessing Open Custom GPT. Now, we're going to actually take a look at how you can use it as well as how you can take this into different workflows now that we understood the features as well as the dynamic of this platform. Now, if you want to run this project locally, it's fairly easy to do so, but you need to make sure that you have some of these requirements fulfilled. Make sure that you have Node.js version 18 installed. You need to have Git installed, which is an application that will help you clone any sort of repository onto your desktop. You need to make sure that you have an open AI API key that's linked to a billing account. Now, once you have all of these prerequisites fulfilled, you can then move on with the installation process. Now, I'll leave the link for the repository as well as the cloud hosting link in the description below. But what you need to do if you're going to be running this locally is going onto the repo, clicking on this green button over here, copy this link, and then scroll back down to the code uh, code section. Now, what you want to do is open up command prompt, type in git clone, and paste the link in and click enter. Once this is cloned, you just simply need to type in cd, then type in open custom gpt, which is going into the open custom gpt file. Now, once you're in the folder, you simply just need to type in npm install, or you can just copy it and paste it into command prompt. This will install all the requirements that are needed to have open custom gpt functional. Now, this will take a couple seconds. So once this is done, I'll be right back. Now, sometimes your command prompt might lag behind, so you might need to click enter to have it start installing. This is something that I did right now because it was just frozen for a little bit. But now that I have installed all the requirements, you simply just need to type in npm run dev into the command prompt, or you can just type in or paste this command in to your command prompt. This will then have it prompted to your local host, which you can visit over here. Now that we have open custom GPT installed, you can simply just create your custom GPT. This is by clicking on this button over here, giving the assistant a name, enter the instruction that you want. So in this case, you can give it any sort of instruction. You can create a coding assistant. This is a GPT that can help you with HTML code. Once you have that instruction inputted, you can then select the type of assistant. If it's code related, you would want to put code interpreter. If you want to retrieve certain types of items from a certain type of file, you can simply have it set to retrieval. Now you can also set various different functions. You now this is a way for you to have it so that it doesn't generate certain types of functions or have it so that it generates or determines certain types of generation. This is a way for you to flexibly give you the flexibility to generate anything that you want. But that's easy as that as to how you can use and create your own custom GPT. Then you just click, click submit and you can start chatting with it. And that's basically a gist of open custom GPT. This is an amazing way for you to basically create any sort of custom GPT that you want for free. Now, obviously, it's not going to be as refined and as good as GPT's version as this is just an open source, uh, easy type of framework or platform for you to create your own custom GPT. This is made by a couple of devs as a side project possibly. And it's something that will definitely help you out so that you can implement even into your own website. This will help you create the base of your own GPT so that you can extend it further on your own as this is an open source project. But that's basically a gist of today's video, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I would definitely recommend that you check out the Patreon link if you guys haven't already. You can access amazing features where you can access our private Discord, get subscriptions to AI tools for free. You get giveaways, collaboration ideas. You have networking opportunities. You can even determine what my future video will be. So if you're interested in any of this, you can definitely take a look at the Patreon link in the description below. If you guys haven't followed World of AI on Twitter, I definitely recommend that you do so so you can stay up to date with the latest AI news. This is where I'm dropping the latest content in terms of news over here. 
And lastly, make sure you guys subscribe, turn notification bell, like this video, and check out our previous videos so you can stay up to date with the latest AI news. But that's basically it for today's video, guys. Thank you guys so much for supporting me. Really, really appreciate it. Have an amazing day. Spread positivity, and I'll see you guys really shortly. Peace out, fellas.